Now these days, it is not unusual that peace and cooperation in our region can be seen and felt by the people. But in the age of Cold War, not only for Thailand, but the whole Southeast Asia region, the risk of losing independence and sovereignty was vast and boundless. Threatened by the aggressive expansion of communism, Southeast Asia region at that time had no cooperative frameworks or mechanisms that can unite all the nations against this threatening risk. Even worse, with the intra-political disputes regionally, frightful suspicion grew high among these nations. In time of this chaotic instability, the articulate strategic actions on foreign policies were immensely called for. However, the quest to find long-term plans for the security on both political and economic dimensions cannot be pursued as an easy task. Policy making and implementation in foreign affairs were in need of the person consisted with elaboration, knowledge, vision and conviction in maintaining his or her country's highest benefit. Dr. Thanat Coleman was truly the ideal person for the situation possesses with these innate qualities. The 12 year time from 1959 to 1971 with Dr. Thanat in charge as the Minister of Foreign Affairs was considered to be the most critical moment for Thailand and the Southeast Asia region in which the crucial coincidence was that the United States of America at that time was leveraging its role and military forces against the communist forces and its expansion. Dr. Thanat saw the regional and international unity among the countries in and outside the region critical and timely to be made real for the viability of the Kingdom of Thailand. Together, Thailand and those nations with mutual benefits can fight against the external threats that they were facing together. Regionally, Dr. Thanat pushed forward the crucial formation of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations or the ASEAN together with the foreign ministers of Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines and Singapore. Co-signed the Bangkok Declaration on the 8th of August 1967. Moreover, he saw that the Southeast Asia Collective Defense Treaty or the Manila Pact the framework designed for mutual military defense among the member countries has its limitation in a way that any actions concerning security must only be agreed upon the majority of the member countries, which were mostly the countries outside our region. And therefore Thailand could not be ensured for immediate assistance in time of external intrusion. In response, Dr. Thanat had convinced the US to sign Rusk Thanat Communique on the 6th of March 1962 to guarantee that the US will offer the needed military assistance to Thailand with no prior approval needed from other member countries in the CETO at that time. These works of Dr. Thanat Korman formed the strong and solid foundation for Thailand's and the region's security not only in time of the Cold War, but at the present time that even ignited regional cooperation under the ASEAN framework to go further, leveraging into the ASEAN community. With his devotion for the viability of Thailand, it is undeniably that His Excellency Dr. Thanat Korman is truly the venerable person in the foreign affairs who brought tremendous benefits to Thailand in the Southeast Asia region.